Have you struggled with your ground strokes and being able to put them where you want on the court? You know, you've hit a great serve, your opponent has been pulled way to the side and the middle of the court is wide open. The ball comes right back to you and you ah, hit it right back to their partner or you hit it out. We want to work on direction and control of our ground strokes and I'm going to give you a drill that will help you become more efficient and more effective in placing those in the open court and winning more points. So the key to hitting great directional ground strokes is to be aware of where the openings are on the court, right? So you don't want to just swing and hope it goes in or always swing up the middle, but you want to be able to assess, is there an opening here? Yes, then I want to be able to move my body so that I hit a ground stroke right in that open area, which gives me passage up to the non-volley zone line, and even more importantly, keeps my opponent back. If you have an opponent that wants to play from the baseline, you should be happy. You should invite them to stay back there by continuing to hit directional ground strokes right at their feet, hit them to their backhand, hit them right in front of them, because the longer they stay back there, the higher the chance that they're going to lose the point by making a mistake. So Bree's gonna help me out with a drill here that will help you really solidify in your mind how to hit right, how to hit left, how to hit short, and how to hit long. Let's take a look at it. Long right, short left, short left, short right, short left, long left. You can see this is just repetition and placement. You have a visual cue of where you want to go by having the cones on the court and you have your partner just calling out which area to hit. Now we're going to take a look at Bree's footwork and body position as she lines up to hit the ball either long or short, right or left. Long right. Long left. Short left. So you can see Bree steps forward with her non-dominant foot into the direction she wants the ball to go. We don't try to hit those shots flat because the chance of being accurate is very low. So she's going to step into the ball in the direction she wants it to go and then turn at the hips to add power. Long right. Long left. Good. Long. Oh. Long left. So you can see the accuracy goes way, way up when you step toward your target and all of the power, she's not swinging hard, the power comes from uncorking the hips and turning at the torso because the more you do this, the more likely you are to make an error in choosing how hard to hit the shot and then it's in the net or it flies long. Hey, here comes the right down the middle, drill it. <laughs> Good one. The idea here is the next time you're involved in a game and you see an opening on the court between your two opponents, you think to yourself, before the ball even gets to you, yeah, I can hit that. Yep, I can put the ball there and that's gonna give me the best chance possible to keep them off balance, keep them out of position, or hit a winner. Do this drill twice a week for about 10 to 15 minutes and watch your directional control on your ground strokes improve and watch yourself win more points and more pickleball games. If these tips have helped you, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you out here on the courts in the next episode of Think This. See ya.